In this video, we're going to explore the idea of interaction or effect modification a bit, and we're also going to compare and contrast it a little bit with the idea of stratification. In order to do this, we're going to examine the effect modification between smoking and race. In other words, we're going to look at if the effect of smoking changes depending on race category. Now this is all for the sake of discussion. We've seen that smoking and race do not have a significant interaction or effect modification. So first, I'm going to fit a model that does not have an interaction or effect modification, just has smoking and race in it. I'm going to call that M1. Then I'm going to fit M2, that includes smoking, race, and the smoking by race interaction or effect modification term. And let's look at a summary of model 2. Now in a separate video, we're going to be working with this model and doing some calculations by hand. For now, I'm going to look at doing a bunch of stuff in R. We're going to calculate the race-specific or strata-specific odds ratios. So first, to calculate the odds ratio of smoking for whites, or race category 0, we can take the exponent of 1.7505. And here we'd see the odds ratio is 5.76. For someone categorized as white, a smoker has 5.76 times the odds of having a low birth weight baby than a non-smoker. To calculate the smoking odds ratio for black, we're going to exponentiate 1.7505 minus 0.5566. And in a separate video, we're going to explain a bit more about why exactly we're using these numerical values. So now this ratio comes out to be 3.3. Again, for someone categorized as black, a smoker has 3.3 times the odds of a low birth weight baby than a non-smoker. And the odds ratio for other will be 1.75 minus 1.52. Odds ratio of 1.25. Again, for someone categorized as other, the odds of a low birth weight baby for a smoker are 1.25 times the odds of a non-smoker or 25% higher. And just to remind ourselves, the model that we fit that adjusted for race but did not have effect modification, M1 is what we called it, if we exponentiate the coefficient for smoking, which is 1.11, that's going to give us the race adjusted odds ratio for smoking. But again, no effect modification, it assumes the effect of smoking is the same for all race categories. If we exponentiate that, we'd find the race adjusted odds ratio is 3.05. Now sometimes in intro epi courses, you'd learn to compare the race-adjusted odds ratio to the odds ratio when you stratify based on race, and this can help you decide about effect modification. We're going to explore it in a slightly different way. And first, just a quick reminder of the unadjusted odds ratio. We have a model of just smoking. The unadjusted odds ratio was 2.02. So there will be a separate set of notes and a separate R script if you want to explore the idea of the mantle hansel method. We're not going to talk about it much directly in the course, but it'll be a side topic that we'll touch on, and if you want to explore it a bit further, there will be some materials there for you to do so. Now just a quick reminder, we've already talked about the likelihood ratio test, and we can use this to test if that interaction or effect modification term is statistically significant. We've already done that, but let's quickly look at it again. Here, we're going to run the likelihood ratio test to compare model 1 and model 2. And here we see there's not a statistically significant difference, that interaction or effect modification term is not statistically significant. So let's just take a moment to talk about this and think about it for a minute. What we found was that when we let the odds ratio change depending on race category, it was 5.76 for white, 3.3 for black, 1.25 for other. And our test saying that the effect modification is not statistically significant is essentially saying that these three odds ratios are not significantly different from each other and we're better off using the weighted average of them or the 3.05. So let's think a bit about why on the surface these might look quite different, but statistically they're not significantly different. So to do so, first I'm just going to take a look at a table of race. And we can see in our sample we have 96 white, 26 black, 67 other. And so these are actually smallish sample sizes. And if we take a look at a table of joint distribution of race and smoking, we'd actually see for whites there's 44 non-smokers, 52 smokers. For blacks, 16 non-smokers, 10 smokers. For other, 55 non-smokers, 12 smokers. Okay, so just to repeat that, for blacks, we actually only have 10 smokers that we're basing our odds ratio on. And for other, we only have 12 smokers that we're basing those odds ratios on. So you can imagine the confidence intervals for those are going to be pretty wide. Now let's take a look at a table if we stratify by race. So what we're going to do here is slightly different. It's not fitting effect modification, it's addressing effect modification through stratification rather than modeling it. But modeling effect modification or addressing it through stratification are two slightly different approaches at getting at the same problem. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a 2x2 two two table. 
and we look at smoking only for race zero. So look at smoking for white and low birth weight for white. So let's look at that table here. So this is the two by two table. And remember the X variable was smoking, the Y variable was low birth weight. So we, here we see four whites. These are the 44 non-smokers and the 52 smokers. And this is the two by two table of smoking versus low birth weight only for race category zero or whites. If we calculate the odds ratio for this, remember a short way to do it is the AD over BC. So 40 times 19 over 33 times four. So the odds ratio of 5.76. Now let's do the same. Let's look at the two by two table of smoking versus low birth weight only for black. Okay, again, we can see pretty small sample sizes here, pretty small cell counts. We can guess the assumptions for building the confidence interval around this odds ratio are probably not even met. If we calculate the odds ratio for black, which is 3.3. And again, if we create the two by two table for other, again, we can see some pretty small cell counts. And if we calculate the odds ratio from this two by two table, the 1.25 as we saw before. Now I wanna quickly point out, in this case, the odds ratios we got through modeling effect modification and the odds ratios we get through stratification are identical. And that's because there's no other variables included in the model. If we wanted to adjust for other variables, the odds ratios we get through modeling effect modification and the odds ratios we get through stratification will be slightly different. So these approaches are similar, but they're not identical. One point to take from this is that with such small cell counts, we're gonna get large standard errors and we're gonna get very wide confidence intervals. We can imagine the confidence intervals around these odds ratios are probably gonna overlap and not be statistically significantly different. Now I just wanna say here, if your question of interest was really to try and get at, does the effect of smoking on low birth weight actually change depending on race category, you might wanna design your study a little bit differently. Right? We've noticed here our sample sizes in each race category are too small. So our data is not really adequate for addressing this question if we thought it was a question of interest for us. One thing we can think of doing to try and think through this is attaching confidence intervals to each of those odds ratios. You could do it from the model output that we saw earlier, or we can work with the stratified tables and build confidence intervals around each of those odds ratios. I'm gonna do that for now because that's a little bit more familiar territory for us. So to do so, I'm gonna make use of the EPR package I've already installed this package, so I'm gonna load the library. And I know you can use other packages to get odds ratios and confidence intervals around them. There's things like EpiTools or EpiCalc or other ones you might've seen that might be a bit better. I'm not necessarily endorsing this package as being a good one, but it's one that I'm able to use quickly here for this video. So first I'm gonna give it the two by two table, smoking by low birth weight only for race category zero or whites. And then we use the epi two by two command this is gonna create the two by two table as well as a bunch of output around that. So let's take a look at that here. Now we can see from the output, we get that two by two table. We can see here's the 44 non-smokers and here's the 52 smokers. So this is the same two by two table we produced previously. We can see we get the odds ratio of 5.76, which we've already calculated. The 95% confidence interval around that. We're 95% confident that the odds ratio smoking for white category is between 1.78 and 18.6. It's quite a large range. And again, that's due to the small sample sizes that we saw. Let's look at the same table, but for race category one or black. Here we can see the odds ratio comes out to be 3.3, as we calculated before, 95% confidence interval of 0.63 up to 17.16. And finally, if we calculate the confidence interval for the odds ratio for other category, you can see it comes out to 1.25, 95% confidence interval between 0.35 and 4.46. And we can note all these confidence intervals overlap, right? We're not convinced that they're significantly different from each other. So this matches the conclusion we saw earlier that the interaction or effect modification was not statistically significant. We're not convinced that these three odds ratios are statistically significantly different from each other. And that's the same thing we see here with these overlapping confidence intervals. Now in the code here, there's a little bit for you to explore on your own if you'd like. It's looking at effect modification between smoking and age. Again, looking at does the effect of smoking change depending on age. Spoiler alert, it doesn't, but this is gonna allow us to explore effect modification between a categorical variable and a numeric variable, just to see what that looks like. So there's some code here that helps you work through that and explore that on your own if you wanna see that a little bit more.